So this project came about because I had just finished my 1978 Z28 and I put a LS engine in it. In fact, um, with that car, I had to put two LS engines in it because the first one was a junkyard LS1 and even though it made it about a year over time, it just spun the bearings and we started having a lot of problems with it. So I just put a brand new refurbished LQ9 six liter in it and we just got it buttoned up. So I wanted a project that was unique. I wanted something that was different and I've always liked Mustangs, but I've never owned one. So I thought, well, I'd love to build a Mustang, but you know, I'll be honest with you, I didn't wanna spend $100,000 on a fastback and then customize it to like just a regular old Eleanor or something like that. So I came up with this idea of doing a Tesla drivetrain in a convertible Mustang. And the first thing I did is I went and pitched it to Pat. And Pat said, fuck no, we're not building an electric car. And so then I went and I talked to Dan about it and Dan loved the idea. He was like, I'm in, we're doing this, like we're doing this. And over time, Pat got on board. So the next thing we had to do is we had to go find a car. So like I was sharing with you, the goal was to start off with a convertible Mustang, but I came across this ad. And this ad was such a good deal, we had to go see it. So like any smart car guys, we went and looked at it at night. Yeah, he knows we're real because we brought a trailer and a pocket full of cash. He's that taking us to the back of the lot to rob us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But he's paying to store it, so if he's paying to store it, guess what? He wants to sell it, because it's costing him money. What? What's that? What are we looking at? Junkyard. Oh, that is a... <laughs> wow. It's got some Personal wheels, though. Junkyard. Nice wheels. Wide open. Holy shit. Yeah, there was no windows. child locks on back here, dude. Like four? I don't want you falling out. <laughs> Thanks, man. How's it going, man? Pretty good. What's up? Good. I'm Sean. Man. We just figured you're taking us back to the back of the lot to rob us and murder us. Various. <laughs> so what's the story on this thing? I used to it for a friend. He owes me money. Yeah. Take a long to pay. He what? He took a long time to pay me. Uh huh. So I took this car for him. I'll try to make it a race car. Uh huh. But, you know, I bought that one. The Grand Torino. The yeah. What kind of race car are you gonna make? I know. I used to put. Uh, I'm gonna buy a 5.0. Mustang yeah. 5.0. Fuel engine, injected? Transmission, yeah. Do you know how to do that stuff? I had a uh, friend. He do that. We know how to do that. Oh, really? Yeah. You can do that? Yeah, I just put a uh, 6 liter LS and a 78 uh, Z28. Oh, really? Yeah, it's That's for nice. sale. You want it? How much are you asking for? 27. It's bad. Yeah, it's yeah. fast. It's like 400 horsepower. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got a shift kit in it. And all, all, I'm trying to sell suspicion. this one because I want to fix that one. I like the car. A lot. Yeah. This Gran Torino. You know what? This is a 73 and I like the yeah. 72. You see, yeah. a, the front end is a little more different. Uh -huh. And I already buy another can. We put a, a 440 in that, man. It has a 429 on Oh, it does it? Yeah. Already? It's a big block. We're going to go, uh, we're going to put a Tesla motor <laughs> electric in a Mustang. Oh, really? That's what we're going to do next. Yeah. That's the next car we're building. So we're looking for something that the body's really nice so we can do that. That's the goal. Okay, so we obviously bought the Mustang and on the next video, we actually get it home in the daylight and we get to see what we actually bought. So if you wanna see the next video, be sure to subscribe so you can stay with us as we progress and we start tearing this car apart. And I'll share with you what we paid for the car on the next video. So hit subscribe, I'll see you on the next video.